Local Mike Nelson here. Say, listen, I've programmed the robots to have different regional speech patterns. <laughs> okay, I admit it's the only thing I know how to do, but still, it should be fun to try to watch them communicate. Don't you think? So, Crow, before we go to the show, would y'all like to have a Coke? Uh, sure, I'll have a root beer. Uh, I said Coke. I know, I'll have a root beer. All I have is Coke. Uh, then forget it, I'll just use the bubbler. Okay. Uh huh? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, what show are we seeing? I thought we were going to a movie. We are. And a show? No. Then why did you say we're going to a show? Because we are. What show? Awakening. That's a movie. I know. Gee. Are, are, are you going to come with? Come with what? Me, Crow, me. Are you going to come with me? Yeah, but I'm a little low. Could you borrow me some money? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I think that's well, enough. You know, there's a difference between regionalism and just plain stupidity. But Mike, irregardless of that fact. So what time's dinner? Is noon okay? What, that's lunch. Lunch, dinner, same oh. thing. Oh, something's flashing over to the what's it there yet. Oh, the blinker. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Mike. Oh, uh, what time is it? Uh, I slept late. Uh, I have an experiment for you around here. Some Frank, where's the matter transference device? I didn't use it last, Clay. Oh, oh uh, here it is. Um, well, this little device allows you to break down molecular patterns and reassemble them again elsewhere. I haven't gotten all the bugs worked out of it yet. Thought I'd try it out on you. You know, there's a bit of an ion storm. Are you sure you should be sending that right now? Nonsense, what could possibly go wrong? So we're not going to do any experiment that messes with the laws of nature. You try your little matter transference device out on your own self. Yeah, and you're just lucky nothing happened sending it up during an ion storm. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what the hell? What the world? You failed to properly compensate during the ion storm. Your agonizer, please. Uh, for Captain Mike. Your agonizer, please. Agonizer, agonizer. Where the heck did I put that doohickey? It's right there on your belt. No, no, that's not it. It is it, too. Nope, I remember Would I had just it. just give me your agonizer? Please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, you're supposed to keep fresh batteries in your agonizer at all times. I don't know what happened. I oh, just let's put just, fresh hey, ones hey, in. Let's just go to the agony it's booth. It's clean. just easier. It is not. Tom, what's huh? happened? What's wrong with Mike and Crow? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, they're all evil and stuff. Really? I hadn't noticed. Well, don't you think it's just a little weird that we're down here in Deep 13? 
Yeah, that is weird. Still, I suppose they do that kind of thing. Tom, it oh. seems as though the ion storm sent us into an evil parallel dimension. Huh. Our lives are at stake. We can't trust anyone. Well, okay, let's just try to make the best of it. No typical agony booth is out of order. <laughs> you can call those service people and they'll be around, oh, say, December, maybe. <laughs> well, I could bring it out to be Shut fixed, up, Yeoman still... Crow. Shutting up. <clears throat> Thank you. Your movie today is a little western called The Last of the Wild Horses that I like to think smells like the inside of John Goodman's chaps. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee, die, I.A. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and this one here <laughs> is the eight of Chris Lemon. <laughs> oh, you look at that. <laughs> We've got movie sign. Oh, oh, oh. Go Aren't you going to carry me into the theater? Frank, you're getting too big for that. Oh, it's my favorite part. Just watch the show. I have that sciatic oh, uh. nerve. This is the Road River Valley in Southern Oregon. Famous for its scenic and historical landmarks. Like dirt and stuff. Oregon's first settlers stopped here and built one of the oldest settlements. Then they moved Jackson, on. Whose original buildings still stand as when they were built nearly a century ago. Wow. The entire action of this picture was filmed in the beautiful Rogue River Valley and in Jacksonville, one of the few remaining true western towns. So even though the movie sucks, they still meant well. <laughs> Can't stress that enough, folks. Last of the wild horses. Crazy. With these people and plenty of vitamins and minerals. You lost the last of the wild horses, you dink. Oh, Albert Glasser, the man who holds you down and pummels you with music. I wonder what day Albert Glasser wrote this story. I think he was <laughs> Two curlies fighting for supremacy. I would date Yolanda Molinari. She seems nice. My life is a dog, the Western version. I never wanted to do summer stock in the first place. Oh, yeah, the Hittleman film empire began with this movie. Let's save our strength. We'll probably have to fight later in the movie. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> Little Joe and Adam have it out. Hey, I have leather contacts. You rarely see a good facial whipping. This in the first place, Bonham. Now I'm going to finish you. Journey to the beginning of time. Scrubbing bubbles, scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> hey, he's dressed like a Cossack. What is that about? I'm not moving here. Look at all the people. Ew, smells like Grandma's purse. Ew. It's the Bazooka Joe guy. Hey, I had dibs. Down, down, boy, shoot, go home. Looks like kind of a one-sided caper. You're good, boss. Well, it's none of my business. I don't even know who I am yet. I hope it's not the three amigos, because I'd like a comedy. Uh. Oh, man, a great big juicy stagecoach. Oh, oh, I'm getting horse sick. Oh, no. I hope you know that these are billable hours, boss. Boss, you care too much, damn you. No, stay, go home, go home, go. Beauty, freckles, no, go home. Are you hanging on to that artillery any longer? Might as well get rid of it. See your license, please. I mean now. Oh, yeah, their three guns are probably useless against this one. Yeah. What are you butting in for? Three against one isn't exactly my idea of the right odds. I don't know who you are, but you're not going to get away with this. I'm a bunny. Horse we were chasing. 
There's a law about aiding and abetting a horse thief. Oh, well, now, why didn't somebody tell me? <laughs> Far be it from me to break the law. He's being facetious, I thought he was an he? honest citizen, and you fellas were breaking the law. Apparently sarcasm hasn't hit the old west yet. Well, I guess he must be over the hill by now. No use chasing him. Might as well call the whole thing off. Tomato! Tomato! Get going. I <laughs> still got it. <laughs> oh, God, that stang! Way to go, Ted. Now we have to talk to him again. <laughs> Please, sir, can we have our bullets back? Ought to be a law against the man carrying concealed weapons. You boys get tempted to eat. Get down. This is very awkward because all the horses are really good friends. Very embarrassing, huh? Take now, off line dance. Horse. Take them off or I'll burn them off. Now ask him if you can show him something in a new buck pump. Let me help you here, Gary. You have those hammer toes. Foot fetishists of the old west. <laughs> now say you're going to chicken back for a size five. Drop did I say throw them? Now do it again. They're all wearing white clogs. <laughs> hey, you've got webbed toes. I miss the spur noises. Jacksonville, where church, family, and hopefully someday industry come together. Great big backs of the old west. Oh no, we just hit a pedestrian. I'm so sick of gingham, I could scream! <laughs> I love my job. We were almost held up over near the pass. Yeah, what do you mean, almost? I'm carrying a big shipment. I wasn't taking any chances. I was watching the road ahead about half a mile, and I seen this masked fella. By the time we got around the bend, he was gone. All right, we'll try and round him up. Get the horses, Chuck. What'd he look like, Tom? Oh, he was a big fella. Mm. Grown horse, had a black bandana. Beautiful thighs. That's good enough for me. Later. Thanks, nice sir. tummy. Well, Mrs. Bixby and Mrs. Jones. Now look, everything is going to be all right. Bixby. Break it up, folks. Break it up. Go on home and disappoint your husbands. Ew! Look at all the poo. Looks one of my tires is low. <laughs> I will not let you not buy this shoe. Look <laughs> good it out that tickles. I wasn't playing shoe store. You know, his horse has the look of someone who spent a lot of time humoring his master. Hello there. Hello there. I just had a little trouble. My, uh, my horse threw a shoe. Made a ringer. Oh, that's too bad. I think you can get him reshot up at the ranch. Which ranch? Double C. Oh, it's fine. Where is it? What an idiot. You're on it. Covers practically the entire valley. And most of the world! Ranch house is up over the next hill about a mile. Thanks. Say, it's lucky for me you happened along. Otherwise, I might have had to walk. I got news for you. You're still gonna walk. yippee yi ouch Oh, good one, boss. Uh, maybe I could just hold on to your horse's tail and you could drag me or something. I don't know. The double crunch? What is that about? It's a sprawling studio apartment ranch. You can't bring it home with it now. How do you like this one, Dad? Hello, Dad. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Gentlemen, need a shoe for his horse. You think you can fix him up? Why, sure, you can have a shoe for his horse. He's got more shoes than he have horses. <laughs> Dad's <laughs> mental. <laughs> Four legs to one horse. Hey, Slim, throw a shoe in this fellow's horse. Thanks. You look like you could stand something cool and wet. Dad. You could. So did my feet. Get his feet a glass of lemonade. Well, don't just stand there. Go get us a drink. Yes, Dad. Get on this, Ronnie. Da 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 <laughs> now I'm expanded. Ha! I caught in a stampede one night and bust himself up good. Ever since then, I've turned over most of the management to Riley. 
Oh, that's nice. Where's your daughter? Must be a lot of wild horses in this part of the country. No, no, no. Mm. Bad. It's doppelganger. Well, trouble. Hmm. trouble? From the small ranch owner. They claim they were the cause of it. They were taking too many mares from the herd. Die, let them claim whatever yeah. they want. Yeah. Rats right of the old the west. Own stock, hasn't he? They don't like it. They know that... Looks like you're the one who could use something cool now. Hi, I'm Susan. I'll be your daughter today. <laughs> Oh, quit giving me pee. Curly and anti-curly. Afternoon, Miss Jane. Miss Cooper, Riley. Well, Sheriff, what brings you here? Oh, I'm trying to pick up a fellow's trail. The westbound stage just pulled into Jacksonville a little while ago. Reported seeing a masked man down by the big dam near the pass. Sit down, Sheriff. Thanks, Jane. That's a long sentence, and you're probably tired. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trees held up? No. We had a couple extra guards planted in the coast. The guard riding on the seat was watching the road ahead for about a half a mile through field glasses. Fascinating. So by the time they got to the pass, the masked man had gone. It's me. <coughs> it's me. I sure would have liked to have seen the look on that fellow's face. He'd have tried to stick up that stage. <laughs> the joke is on the sheriff. <laughs> Did the guard get a good look at him? Yeah, as good as he could from a half a mile away through field glasses. Said he was big, wearing a black bandana for a mask, and riding a roan horse. Well, actually, my scarf is dark navy, and so is my horse. you your job, sheriff. This country must be full of big fellas wearing black bandanas and riding roan horses. Everyone here is so fun. No, no not so many. Say, you got a so sweet friend. outlaw ass, don't you? You're big. Unless I'm mistaken, that's a black bandana you're wearing. They are falling for each other hard. What kind of horse was this man riding, Mr. Cooper? It was just a head and a stick. It was weird. A roan. I can explain. It was a loner road. Well, nothing wrong, Sheriff. I wasn't near the path. I came up through the valley. Let's go barefoot all summer. Yeah, well, that's just me. I got to have an arch support and a firm. Hey, Larry. Give me a gun. Well, they'll do that sometimes. Well, I guess my horse ought to be shot by now. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cooper. I freeze. Oh, they're playing freeze tag. What's this all about, Rocky? Every shot, Hank. He made us get off our horses, stampede them, and then took our guns. Take your boots, too, I see. Shut up, Iris. What have you got to say for yourself? Part of what he says is right. Yeah, the other part is Three right, too. Three of them too. against the kid. I just thought I'd delay him a little and give the kid a break when he took a shot at me. I'm so I lost. I had to bring him to prevent anyone from getting hurt. I don't like any unnecessary gunplay going on in my jurisdiction. You're going to have to answer to a charge of assault. Besides, this place is you down at the pass, which is another little matter I want to get cleaned up. Let's go. Put it away, Rocky. Yeah, and we're going to pin the cattle rustling from last year on you, too, if you don't mind. He's wearing chick jeans. They fit better. He drank our well, apple did, juice. Mark. You didn't get close enough to tell for sure. Hmm? I suppose you took a couple of pot shots at them. Well, yes, but we only try and throw a scare into them. Haven't we got enough trouble in this valley without my men making more? No. Riley, get him out of my sight before I have him thrown off the ranch. I warned you before, Rocky, about being trigger-heavy. I want to talk to you. Glad we had this little face-to-groin talk. I told you to be careful whenever you made a move. Next time you go after anyone, be sure there are no witnesses around. This fella came out of nowhere. Well, watch your step from now on. Things are going too good to spoil. I got the old man so he won't budge. I put a rock behind his wheel. I want you to push the small ranches around until they won't take any more. When they're pushed too far, this whole valley will burst loose. When that happens, where do we stand? On the sideline. Uh, what's, what's the sideline, sir? <laughs> when they do, we'll bring the law down on them. Fast as they're wiped out, I'll take Cooper. Suppose old man Cooper got his own idea about all this. When I get through with them, he'll see things my way or else. Why did he hire Hoyt Axton? It's to me. Well, it's because you got brawn where your brains ought to be. You stick with me and you'll be wearing gold bullets. Where? In my belt or my back? Why, if this scene wasn't ending, I'd... Bless your beautiful hide. They need to invent the stoplight. Remedy. 
Stop the music. Retail space for rent, see? Mm. This town has a real western theme. Mm. I'm going to Crabtree and Evelyn. I'm strangely drawn to him. The magnetic pull is too strong. Oh! Want to go have a beer before I book you? I like to greet him at the door wearing nothing but this. What's the charge? Oh, the charge? Assault with intent to kill. He shot Hank Davis, one of the double C boys. That's right. Me and Terry is right there. Saw the whole thing. But it's a self defense. Hank drew first and fired. Or even got his gun. Hank fired four shots. Two. Sounded like four to me. Well, forget I've it. I've been having trouble with my ears lately. Yeah, it's a rare ailment known as double, double hearing. <laughs> Just like some You're not going to be vision. in this movie, are you? I need to fix up some of that ear remedy when it gets back to the ranch. You testify to that at the trial, Sheriff. Are your words all right with me, Remedy? Even though you're mental. I guess that sort of clears you of the shooting, doesn't it? Thank you. But I'm going to hold you on another charge. What kind of a charge? Suspicion. That description of the masked man waiting to hold up the stage fits you pretty well. He ain't the man you're looking for, Sheriff. He was with us ever since the day. <laughs> was he, Terry? Never left my sight for a second. Why, he's no more a crook than you are, Sheriff. Why, he's a new ranch hand I hired the other day. Well, I guess that clears you all the way around, doesn't it? Ooh, it's easy going justice around these here parts. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Hey, Remedy. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Can I show you something in a slip-on? Maybe open-toed, something sensible, nothing too bad. I just want to remind you that you were right here when the stage pulled in and reported the whole thing. Me? Well, you must be suffering with that double vision I was talking about. You are. I got a remedy for it. <laughs> You're not fooling oh, me. Oh, my trick remedy. nipple. But I'll tell you what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to place him in your custody until I'm satisfied one way or the other. Oh, uh, he'll come through a third ring. <laughs> God love the drunken old fart. <laughs> hey, they got in a right, shipment well, of Muslim no women. Business. What Terry tells me, that makes a seat. That's quite a kid you got there. Plenty of nerve. Plenty of what it takes to ride a horse, too. Harassment! <laughs> well, what do you know, a little tomboy? Say, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have smacked I tell her a hundred times, she's gonna go around dressed like a boy. Got to learn to take it like a boy. Oh. That right, uh, um, Barnum. Duke Barnum. I think. Well, I guess I'd better take off. Take off? Yeah, I've got a sort of a date over at Whitman. Huh. I'm opening a shoe store there. Yeah. Maybe. It's a long remedy. Oh, it ain't gonna be so long. God. As far as I'm concerned, it is. But you're supposed to be our new ranch Oh, you made a mistake. But you're my love Maybe interest. You Maybe I better go tell the sheriff he ain't the man I hired the other day. Yeah, it must have been a case of mistaken identity. Yeah. Funny, though, like Everybody that. wants a piece of the Duke. Now you got a bad memory for patience. Who are you? Better take another look. Am I the fellow that Remedy hired or not? You're the jerk that smacked my butt. Oh, we gotta no, go. Let's go. Yeah, I got yeah, a yeah. really fun guy. All right, okay. Just for the rest. Hey, Remedy. Yeah. Hey, I've got this puppet. Let's do a song about the lemur. Okay. Joey the lemur, the friend to mankind, a furry kind of monkey friend. He really does shine. Joey the lemur, he's great to have around. Woo! This is worse than I ever imagined having my worst nightmare about. This is horrible. There are no lemurs in this movie. Ah! The lemur, the kind of animal that would go to the bathroom any oh, time no, no, that he no. wants. Oh, Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the lemur. Oh, yes. <laughs> I order you! Let me go! You traitorous pigs! What's going on? Where's my personal guard? Oh, 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 oh. All right, Mike. Whatever your game is, I'll play it, mister. Apparently, some sort of transposition has taken place. Oh, extremely interesting, Plankton. I have no idea why I said that. Well, anyway, we got to get him inside the theater. Okay. What is it that will buy you? Power? I can get that for you. Money? Credits? Well, Name it! Name it! Look, 
Let me go! Would you you die, I'll have you killed and then tortured! Let me just Oh, hey, a cowboy movie. Right. Sit and watch it. Oh, I've seen everything. What are you studying? Oh, just a little everything. Cure anybody of anything. Man or beast. Medicine. I have factory. Property. Veterinarian. Victoria's Secret? Jump a fork. Now I can pull that tooth that's been bothering Curly. My butter oh, shipment. Curly, a horse? No, the cut. Don't tell me you're studying to be a dentist, too. Why? You got a toothache? No, thanks. I want to be so a that's dentist. That's why they call you remedy, eh? Yep. Yeah. Sure, there's nothing wrong with you. No, I'm disgustingly healthy. And I'm not gay. Hey, it's a drug deal going down. I'll be with you in a few minutes. I've got a little unfinished business to take care of. I uh, need to get really drunk. Go out of your way looking for trouble. I won't go out of my way. Wow, this place is crawling with holly hobbies. <laughs> what kind of drink specials they got in there, partner? Hi. I want to correct something you said at the double C a while ago. You used a double negative. I've never shot a man in the back. Kidneys, sure, but... I'm going to give you a chance to eat those. Hey, the two o'clock shootout starting. Could we have some privacy, please? Oh, I won't. Uh, never thought of that. I hope this doesn't ruin the taste of Jacksonville Festival. And I'm mm. going to give you a chance to draw first. Sale at pennies. Ooh. Wow, the Amish are really hauling ass. Won't be as couple of cowboys I've ever seen. As my legal representative, what would you recommend? Uh, so, uh, what, what are you going to do now? Well? All right. All right. Have your way, baby. As far baby. as I know, you never shot anyone in the back. Well, thank you. That's all I wanted. That's better. That's worse. Drop it! Wow, pistol packing mama. <laughs> Saved by a girl. Stupid. You scuffed my hair, you dink. <laughs> He's wearing Adamant's shirt. better to turn my back. I've learned an invaluable life lesson. They're always gathering for fights. How do they ever get any shopping done? Handy with his gook, too. Maybe that's how he got his name. His name is Handy? With the town of Cary Nations. <laughs> it's just like Gamera versus Zegra. Oh. Only with cowboys. Ah, right. Cool, he almost made it into his hat. Break it up, break it up. Get up out of there, Rockin'. There's a law in this town against disturbing the peace. <laughs> You've got a lot of laws around here. I'll see. Yeah, and I aim to see you don't break any. Come on, dude. This is a pretty wimpy old west. It's more like the Midwest part of the old west. Like Des Moines. Remedy's other nickname is... Ow! What a beautiful cut. Have you ever thought of a perm? Of course, I could probably have done the job with only two stitches. No, you take a chance. No. Besides, you needed the practice. Get your greasy thumb out of there. Got a professional look, too. No, I could hardly see it. Wouldn't know I'd done it myself if I hadn't done it. Hmm? Will he be all right, Remedy? Of course. He'll be able to think in a month or so. Have you got a fever? No, but I think you have. Remedy, soon to be known as malpractice. <laughs> Quite a girl you got there. Right here, take okay, her for a drive. She sort of left me when my partner passed on 15 years ago. Oh, I see. No, I'm strictly a bad I know when I'm well off. <laughs> you know, I've been trapped by this guy at so many parties. I don't yeah. see why you drag me out here. From the size of this place, it looks as though you could run it with the help you've already got. No, I know it ain't a very big place. But I sort of figured if you were as handy with horses as... Hey, you what's he looking at? This, you might get to like it. Stick around raising horses instead of sticking up stage coaches. I need some alone time right now. What makes you think I want to make a career of it? Just a dilettante. How many you stuck up so far? Oh. Not counting the one I started today, none. I thought so. You're right, Purdy. No one with a crooked streak in him would stuck his neck out the way you did this morning. Oh, here comes wacky, nutty chaos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my comic relief shift is over. 
Hog, hog, hog. Oh, even smoke hurts us. That's what you get for eating your own cooking. Oh, why don't you blow it out to. Oh, remedy. Open your mouth. Oh, I don't need shoe hole. Open your mouth. Why do you? Here's your problem. You got a tongue stuck in here. Yeah, it is. It's stirred by custard. No, it ain't. Not too. Now my mouth tastes like your foot. I'll well, just disinfect this by wiping it in my armpit. Rochester. What a nice picture. Oh. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. oh I'm all full of nits. Oh, spiders. Ugh. Yes, sir, Curly. Sure anything, you got to get to the root of it. There's devils inside What's you. the root of all this horse trouble in the Valley Remedy? Lack of horses? That's come sooner or later, I guess. He's taking the mares away from the wild herd, and pretty soon there's no more herd. What's the solution? Saline. <laughs> well, in the lumber country, when the forests start to go barren, they stop cutting trees for a while. That's what they got to do here. Stop rounding up horses. Maybe a year or two. Give the herd a chance to grow. Look, I'll pull my tooth. Everybody in favor of it? Everybody but the double C, Charlie Cooper. Yeah, he can stand one bad year better than us little fellas. Huh. So far, he's been stubborn as a mule. I'm afraid if he won't listen to reason, the trouble's going to go a lot deeper than just bad feet. Now, let's get that appendix out. Too bad. If they beauty, Sterling? Oh. <laughs> Brand new, never been used before. Oh. Are they allowed to have oh. two comedy people in this movie? Maybe I better look up the literature on how to use them. Hmm? No, just wasting time. This yank or something gives. Mm. Open your mouth. Mm. Come on, open your mouth. Mm. Is it hey. safe? Wow. Frontier Dental Hygienist. <laughs> My epiglottis! Oh, Dances with uh, something. I'm not sure. I'm... Are we supposed to find our smile? We're file clerks. What the hell are we doing on horses? Bonanza. Bonanza, starring the Mandrell sisters. They don't seem wild. They Those seem more like fancy free. The Devil C don't let a day go by without raiding the herd. I still like this movie better than Silverado. Is this the legend of Curly Joe Dorita's gold? <laughs> The three tri-captains meet for the coin toss in the middle of the field. They the wild herd? Or they the double C stuff? The answer is yes to both questions. To you, Arlene Francis. You fellas don't lay off that herd for a while. There isn't going to be any herd. That's what I heard. You make it a habit of butting into everything that's not your business, don't you? Fine. Maybe I'll make it my business from now on. We take our orders from Mr. Cooper. If he wants horses, we round them up. If you don't like it, take it up with him. Middle management of the Old West. Okay, see you at card club then. This thing has got to be brought to a head and once pop. and for all. <laughs> that was a fun day. Oh, hi, <laughs> oh, Jane. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Hello, Steve. Mm. I had some visitors this morning. Uh, we just painted that tree. We the delegation from the other ranches. They want to know once and for all if you're going to lay out that wild herd for a year. What I said still goes. Nobody's going to tell me when I can or when I can't run horses. Dad, did you need to yell at me again? Uh, yes, that's final, then. That's final. Is it final? All right, Mr. Cooper. It's fine. But I'm warning you, I won't be responsible for what happened. It's final. You know I only got one deputy. you got a lot of range. I'll protect my own range. I've got guns and I've got the men, too. Is that the only way you know how to settle things with a gun? Shut up, Iris. Those ranches are right and you I know tell you, it. shut up. But rather than sacrifice anything, you'll turn against men who were your neighbors. You'll shoot and kill men who once were your friends, just to assert your will and your power. She speaks for all well, women everywhere. You can that if you want to, but remember, you turn them against you and you turn me too. Mm. Just for that, I'm not going to let you feed me or help me with my ablutions. I do like stuffing more than potatoes. Tell them the double C won't run any horses for a year. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't catch... I don't know if I Riley in the door. I'm sorry, yeah. the sound and the music is kind of... Yeah, I didn't... Uh... Crap. And now, Robert Lippert pretends he is John Ford. 
I think she may be doing that wrong. <laughs> she has no idea how delightful her life's about to become. Huh? Uh, oh, geez, I should have looked the other way. Hi. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> her shorts should be shorter or her pants could be longer. What kind of grunge. Yeah. Oh, oh, sat on the saddle horn there. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. My horse decided to jump benches. He took the last jump without the saddle, and I have to be in it. She can really tell a story, huh? She came along, or I probably would have had to. Oh, 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 oh. You can't. Why not? You made me walk. Payback time. But I don't know why I did it, and I felt awfully bad about it afterwards. You felt bad about it. Well, I've got a couple of blisters to prove how I felt. Want to see him? Well, I guess I can't blame you. And to think I was going to have sex with you. Hey, wait a minute. Yes. I want to see you crawl. <laughs> and your gaucho pants. Come on. Your feet hurt yet? How's it feel? <laughs> Keep walking, sister. Yeah. Feel every blister I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I knew you were a gentleman. Now well, I've been accused of everything since I hit this part of the country. Shot Kennedy, this according to some too. folks. Okay, Your Honor. What's the sentence? Hey, look at that idiot over there with the saddle. Oh, oh rush hour. Sundown, slow down. You know, it's funny. <laughs> what? It seems sense of it's safe to come back into the valley again. Want to drive for a while? The year's going to make a lot of difference in that herd. Your father did the right thing when he came to terms with the other ranch. I wish I could make him see that. Even though he did give in, I still feel he regrets doing it. Well, that's too bad. If he doesn't keep faith, the whole thing's liable to blow wide open again. Don't worry about that. Once he's given his word, he'll keep it. That's good. That was a great scene. Oh, back to the main scene. Oh, oh my head. Yeah, thanks for the help. I've only been getting off horses since I was five. I'm a Formula One race car. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. He's not going to tell any of those weird-ass jokes, is he? <laughs> Every time I see you two, you've only got one horse between you. What became of the Sully? I just saw her in the corral. She decided to come home without me. Why don't you grab a shave? Thanks for the lift. Don't mention it. Next time it'll be your turn. Well, have you been beating up or shooting any more of my help lately? <laughs> None today. So far. I hear that fight you had in town was a uh, honey. I used to be able to handle myself pretty good, too, when I was your age. I'll bet you could. Can I look under your blanket? Hey, uh... Jane tells me you're not too happy with the deal on the horse. You're darn right on, Don. Yeah. Wow. Geez. If it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't have gotten into it. Do you realize what one year's inactivity is going to do to the double team? Well, it's going to cost the little fella something, too. But in the end, you'll it's all It's a talking about. wheelchair. Right. Don Adams, well, eavesdropper. I'll stick to it. Glad to hear you say that. Otherwise, there might be a fight. Ah, every time they have fun, they never invite me. I thought they'd be planning my surprise party, but no. Wow, he's Black Crow lead singer Thin. Rocky. <laughs> yeah? I want you to find my butt. What? I want you to round up every wild horse in Bedford Valley. Uh -huh. Are you kidding? There's hundreds of them between here and Tabletop Mountain. Besides, we haven't got enough men. I know that. You'll have to take whatever men we can spare from here and pick up the rest out of the range. Uh -huh. Understand? I definitely uh, kind of understand. You know, if we do that, it'll be the last of the wild horses. And there'll be no need for Arthur Miller's misfits. Let's go. Now, my butt. My butt. Head of the church. Look at those guys. They got butts. They're just sitting on my pelvis. No flesh there or anything. Ooh, has this scalp ever seen a bar of soap? Not bad. I'm sure I can lose the weight before the wedding. Not bad at all. I think Terry's going to like it. It feels kind of tight. Well, that's okay. Terry ain't as big as you. She's bigger in some places. Two grown yeah. men, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands during the next two years. I think I'll take a fist naked by mail. How come Terry decided she wanted to dress like a girl all of a sudden? Well, she's a girl, ain't she? Yeah, sure, but... How come she just got conscious of it? What makes a girl realize she's a girl? A man, you fool. Oh, I want this scene to go away. Thank you. Things are going to be pretty quiet for a 
all around the ranch now that everybody's stopped rounding up horses. Hmm? I've just been thinking about the same thing. Do you visualize Buck Owens? Stay on anyway? I don't know. Remedy wants me to. Then you'll stay. Remedy says he can make anybody do anything he wants him to do. He wants to, of course, he will call. By mail. Uh, actors, please stay in the reflector uh, light. Do you have a girl? Oh, got me a horse. Oh, sure. Uh, what's a girl? What's she like? Uh, which one? Which one? You mean if you have more than one? Well, no. That is not more than one in each town. Liar! Get two girls together. You know how women talk. I'll never forget the one in El Paso. Or was it Albuquerque? Well, anyway, when these two girls got Oh, I think you're terrible. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Mandarin bastards of the old west. Yeah, the movie's just starting to mosey now. Jeez, Mike, Servo's gotten really weird, and, and Gypsy is too. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid we've lost them to an alternate universe. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll happen. Suppose we ought to do something, huh? Yeah, of course we should do something. You know, fortunately, I saved my alternate universe manual from college. You went to college? Well, actually, it was a Votech, but still, oh, the manuals are only Well, we better go get it quick. <laughs> it's a dangerous game we play, Tom Servo. Oh, you mean like charts? No, you fool. Oh. I mean power, ultimate power. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> the power to rule the galaxies. It's ours, yours, and mine for the taking. No kidding? Wow. <laughs> are you man enough to take command? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Are you Heck, why sure? Not? <laughs> well, I don't know if I can... Come here uh -oh. and let me make a man out of you, uh -huh. Captain Servo. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, jeez, look, it's movie science. Sorry, honey, gotta go. I will be a captain, woman. <laughs> Boy, that gypsy is one sexy hey, mama, isn't she? Hey, gypsy, you know. Chances are they'll be watching the fan. Drive the herd toward the double C. Double C? I thought it was the double cranch. Out of the way quick. Don't worry, I will. Here's a curl and iron. Drop this where they'll be sure to find it. I want you to brand Carol Channing. Good talking to you, Ernie. Always a pleasure. Good boy. I'm galloping. No need to hit me. Occasionally, you'll see one of them horses at Spago at rap parties. There they are. Without you, Gary, we'd be lost. That's Jeez. them. All right, men. We told you the herd don't bother them. But if there's any riders, you know what to do. Uh, actually, we don't, sir. Uh, sir, what? You see, this is where the sepia tone really pays off. Mm. Drink in the lush photography. Hey, mind your space cushion. Now, they showed that clip at the Academy Awards when that guy was nominated for Best Actor. Mm -hmm. well, on top of everything else, they're literaries. Hey, the horses don't have guns. They're Quakers, you bastards. <gasps> paw, 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 paw. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, now they're chucking M80s. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And then it just sort of peters out. Yeah. Post up, spot any of those riders? Come on, we're going down the double C. Wait a minute. You haven't any proof it is a double C man other than the word of some drunk. Ranch. He might have just been shooting off his mouth. That's right. I'd hate to see you make a move without some kind of proof. So would I, but hey, Ferguson, look what I found in the matter. The double C brand and iron. Convinced now? This settles it. Let's go. So their whole plan is based on dumb luck. Whoa, Phil, you flamed out your horse. Hop Singh is making chow mein. This is a gripping Levi's commercial. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. <laughs> We've come a-courting. Delivering their funds a-poppin'. Oh, Mr. Ferguson. We'd like to see your father, Jane. Jane? Who is it? Ferguson, Dad. Oh, hello, Pete. <laughs> Ow! Hi, boys. Old man, your picante sauce was made in New York City. 
Yeah, I guess so. It's got double B on it. Hmm? It was found down the meadow. I guess one of the boys kept very careless. Wow, that's like a whole foot of ear. What do you drive ahead? Big old ear. That iron was found down in the meadow after some riders drove a band of wild horses through. This is about me, isn't it? Well, you're not insinuating we've been raiding the herd. We're not insinuating anything, Charlie. We're just taking back. Well, that branding iron might have been lost a week ago, a month ago, any time. Well, that's possible. In that case, you won't object to our looking over your stuff. You're darn right I object. Wow. Oh, but, oh, now you keep out of this. Sorry for lending my support. I told you the double C hasn't been raiding the wild horses. I don't propose to have anybody inspect my stock to check up on my words. The whole thing is beginning to look like a frame-up. I wouldn't be surprised if one of you fellows is back in the whole thing in order to break up the agreement. If that's the way you want it, it's all right with me. Well, you'd better think this over, Mr. Cooper. I have thought it over. Not <laughs> giving orders any trespassers in the double C to be shot on sight. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, you're only buying yourself a lot of trouble. I can pay for anything I buy. No, 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 no. Kindergarten baby, wash your face in gravy, wrap it up in bubble gum and send it to the Navy. Hey, come on, I was kidding. Hey, <laughs> wait! And they still had to pay for parking. The double cranch does not validate. Yeah, I think you realize what you're doing. Well, they left me no other choice. Oh, please, James. Get the doomsday machine. <laughs> Riley. That wasn't listening. He's the George Stephanopoulos of the ranch. Snuffleupagus. I've just told Pete Ferguson and the boys that any trespassers in the double C will be shot. Send down a press release for that effect. Why not let the sheriff in? Those are orders, Friday. Don't you see? Then if they come on your range, you'll have the law on your side. You'll be entitled to protection. Well, once again, I'm putty in your hands. Yeah, well, I'll go over here. I guess I lost my head. Maybe that's the best way to handle it. Take it with me. John Waters, Texas Ranger. Last night, it looked as if the whole thing would bust wide open. Well, I had a feeling it wasn't going to last. It was a great brunch, though. What does this though. want? Protection. All right, I'll round up some men and fire them in. You won't have to look for any deputies. Here, my rotisserie Let's baseball. Let's these men in. Let's see. Dear Sheriff, I like you. Do you like me? Check one. These are all double seamen. Double seamen? <laughs> Don't touch me. We're picking our own deputy. Not while I'm sheriff. Wait, I'll be right up there and then I'll retort. Maybe we can do something about that, too. I'd love to bite the bridge of your nose. Are you forgetting that Cooper put you in this job? El D'Amato's of the Old West. Well, what's it going to be? Our deputies or your job? So... Is that the end of the scene, or do you have another? Oh, that's it. Okay. Now, remember, you're deputy. Why, thank you. No matter you. what you do, you got the law on your side. And if someone should accidentally be killed while resisting arrest, <laughs> that's too bad. Huh? Huh? Get it? Kill guys! Can we do anything, sir? Can we burn puppies? <gasps> Maybe this will come in handy to settle some personal affairs. Now, there's a man who understands me. Thank you. Now, go do that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> we got the law on our side. I'm going to fail to yield. Give it up for my posse. <laughs> uh, guys, it's not as much fun as I thought it would be. Hey, don't push. I'm going. Now fly, my horsies, fly! <laughs> Not leaving. Just because the rest of you are doing it, I don't have to. Let's all go to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, blew a tire. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to burn your own barn, Ted. Well, quick cup of joe, then back at it. <laughs> oh. Funny. What do you want here? Just checking your horses to see if there's any double C brands in your corral. Get off my place. There's no double C horses in my corral. Then I wouldn't if you wouldn't mind doing me the service of dying. You're getting double C horses now. If you were alive, you'd hear that ironic retort. The Tauntaun Macoots of the Old West. Old timer Billy Slater, no! No, I don't want to live with Grandma. <laughs> this guy wouldn't even be a greeter at Roy Rogers. <laughs> Hey, he transmogrified. He's thinner. Never liked him, neighbor declares. 
building code invented and under fire. At least there's no Art Buckwall. <laughs> Word exonerated is invented. Literacy rate rises to 1%. Look at that, the orcs are involved. Siamese horses. Dan Rowan and Dick Martin in Once Upon a Horse. That was a great movie. It wasn't Once Upon a Horse. You guys, we have the whole prairie. Do we have to bunch up like this? How many of you already know about Amway? Remedy and I got word to join you. Plop, 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 but I live in a trailer. Who's going to answer for Ferguson's death? What do you say? Louder! Can't hear you back here. Let the sheriff handle the Ferguson case. Pop violence isn't the answer. Who's that guy we have? The answer is to show Cooper that he's wrong. But we've got to do it lawfully. Flop, drop a tin, pass it on. How do we know you ain't in Cooper's pay? No, I'm not in Don't pick it. I'm not going to stand by and watch a range war break out if I can possibly help it. Clem, you're talking like a fool. Hmm? Cooper broke his word. Cooper yeah, pay us and we won't kill him. Yeah. He might listen to me. He knows I don't own a ranch, so I have nothing personal to gain. At least let me try before you all do something you might all regret. Go on back to your ranch. Give me a chance to talk to Cooper alone. Yeah, I got it down at the for a yeah, real good deal. They were having a special on him. You know what he's saying in his then? Now, why don't you all go home? See where Oklahoma wants to be a state? <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> now there are acid burns all over this part of the prairie. <laughs> Wait, everybody, this means we have to go home to our wives. Yeah, look at those horses' asses. I got your message. I want to see your father. Well, I hope you two will be very happy. I only want to talk to him. Here's your power drill. I don't think he'll see you. Somebody's got to make him realize what's happened. Small ranchers are up in arms over the killing. So this isn't a date? I'd like to help. For your sake. Give me time to... No! Thanks. He's the Lucas Tanner of his time. I had this meeting with a bunch of cowboys today. I think it went pretty well. He should have seen me. Made me honorary chair. <laughs> I'm good. This town needs a Billy Jack or a Gabby Hayes or a Stretch Armstrong or something. This was my idea. Flintstone's the movie. What do you think? How long are you going to keep this up? As long as they keep stealing my horses? The law against that, you know. Hmm? There's also a law about giving a man a fair trial. <laughs> no, there's not. And not shooting him down in cold blood. They shouldn't have resisted arrest. Resist arrest. <sighs> That's just an excuse for legalized murder. Pete Ferguson didn't even have a gun on him when he resisted arrest. Just the same, there were double C horses found in their corral. I still say a man is innocent until he's proven guilty. You would think that. Call off your deputy. Take back your mink. You settle it some other way. <laughs> I didn't start this thing, Barnum. But now that it's started, I'm going to finish it. Where's the magic of that cowboy meeting? Damn. Is that final? That's final. Double dog final. Up to now, there's been nothing personal about this on my part. Here on in, it's going to be different. I'm going to make fun of your condition. <laughs> that don't scare me any. Huh. See that he gets off the range without being bothered. Otherwise, I'm liable to be accused of ambushing, too. She was going to let me see her nude. More Reba. Hmm? Quit daubing your neck on my property. Boy, my ears have been dripping in this windy climate. Ugh. Ew, I'm not touching it. Ugh. Let's have a merchant ivory sort of picnic. What do you say? Now I have to ride back to St. Louis and get a new hanky. Could you uh, pretend I'm not here and take your hat off? <laughs> Sorry, it had to be this way. I gotta shoot you. I know you are. But he's wrong and he's got to be shown. He's all I have in the world, Duke. I love him in spite of his fault. Yes, I know. You're evil because of it. That's why I wanted it to be different. Hey, this feels good tighter. Sometimes things don't work out the way you figure. What do you mean? Oh, a guy will wander up one range and down the other, always. Looking for something you think you can't find. Yeah, like a second shirt. And then suddenly you'll stop at a spot 
Oh, it's cowboy poetry. Oh, that's what he's been after. Oh, Ada, Annie. I guess I said more than I should have already. No, you haven't, Duke. Touch my gingham. Please go. Give me that nude head of yours. No, I can't. Be an untrue to remedy. So that's it for my whole life, huh? Yep. Meanwhile, the bandana's out there like a ticking bomb. Every ranch by strict zoning law must have parking for at least five horses. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't. Shut up. So you up for some limbo? With limbo, wrap up. Uh, I wouldn't touch that. Ugh, only one man has this sweaty a neck. This movie should have been called Lost and Found. Mm -hmm. What a luck. You found a hanky. Wish I'd found a hanky. I never find anything. What's on the program for tonight? Yeah, Zig Ziglar's in town. It's the Miller Ranch. But Miller's been neutral in this thing so far. So far. But a couple of double C horses found in his corral will prove him otherwise. Go pick up Rocky. He's waiting for you over the office. From zero to one in... Back of the whole thing. Cooper. Carry off! But then again, I... Uh... You're pretty clever, Riley. But at that, you don't have to be clever to take advantage of a man in the wheelchair. Don't use your wheelchair as a crutch. I'll kill you two right where you stand. Well? The right thing to do is to keep it for the sheriff. Jane. Bring boy and cheetah. Jane. Jane has you surrounded. Yeah. Uh, just as we planned, Jane doesn't come when I call. <laughs> Jane! Whoop, could you get that for me? <laughs> what I mean is I support your plan. I wish it would well, be I success. It having it pinned on her. Jane! Jane! Stop this crazy thing! Jane! Oh, never mind, Jane! You like the Coopers, don't you? Don't you? Dookie likes his Coopers, doesn't he? He's pretty. So are you. In a girlish sort of way. I'm not a girl. I'm a woman, a grown woman. I'll say. What's the matter with you, kid one? Well, he... That is, I... Oh, never mind. Well, this muratic acid will be safe... Oh, no! Why don't you watch where you're going? Oh, darn. I've been saving my own filth for three weeks. Well, you just have to start over again. Better get to it now. I know it won't do any good, but someday I'm going to take a course in female psychology. I may even become a female. <laughs> well, Dad, doesn't your anxiety about my leaving seem silly now? Better try it better than that. <laughs> I can undo that knot. I'll leave. I will. <laughs> Go and... Oh, how sweet, Dad. You're taking a little nap on the lawn. <laughs> Looks like you got some color, Dad. All right, Hot Wheels, let's get going. Well, no time to talk, Dad. I'm going straight upstairs. I have a lot of things to do today. Dad, I want to talk to you. And don't say a word till I'm finished. <laughs> Dad. Daddy. Dad. Oh, good one, Dad. Thanks a lot. Now I'm an orphan. Oh, not to worry. That was me. I did that. You mean you didn't want that done? Man, what a huge ear. Look at that thing. You apologize to your daughter. See what you made her do. Here, dry your tears with this clue I planted. Ah, oh, geez. How long is she going to mourn? It's not so much that he's dead, it's just that I had this headache. See the neck sweat? No. No, he couldn't. Why not? I was with him. I was at the edge of the ring. Mm -hmm. After he left you, he must he must have circled back here. Uh, come on, it's my plan. Play along. Could have made it back before you did, couldn't it? Anyway, it smells like Antaeus. That's his scent. That's settled. Mm -hmm. I'm going after the sheriff. I better put Dad up on blocks and leave him in the garage. Baby, jeez. Oh boy, who'd I kill now? Yeah, thanks. 
Must have dropped it somewhere. Or oh, it's a double C, maybe? Could be. Why? It'll probably hang it. Wow, they have really strict littering laws around here. That horse has a beetle to it. arrest for the murder of Charlie Cooper. Johnny Pooper? Who's that? Johnny Pooper, number two bad man in the West. <laughs> Johnny Pooper also murdered. Killed in his own log cabin. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Flash, attractive woman spotted. Pooper held as probe widens. <laughs> Barnum hires midgets for defense team. Jumbo to be witness for prosecution. Rose Kennedy celebrates Jubilee. <laughs> Knishes, get your old west Knishes. Yep. We can go watch a wagon wheel get made or we can go to the trial. It's crowd noise days in Jacksonville. The milling about festival. Oh, looks like the whole town's turned out for the trial. Should have made t-shirts. Did you get somebody to defend you? No, they need a lawyer in the county who wants to cut the case. Well, what will we do? Hmm, looks like I got to try to defend you. Well, why have a little law training? Well, do you think you can? Well, I'll do my best. The prosecutor's built up a powerful case. Shut up. Yeah, Here, Pooper's locked up tight. Right, uh, Pooper can get loose. <laughs> yeah, callback additions for the Marlboro man. That was a good AA meeting. Why would anyone be sober in this town? I'll see you inside. Ah, crack hits the old west. Guy on the far left, nice curvy butt. Rowdy butt. Ooh. You've been doing a lot of drinking lately. What's the matter, losing your nerve? I can't help it. I'm Irish. Oh, good one. I've Big done a lot of jobs in my time, but this one got me. Dow Drug's a tough gig. You've seen an old man sit there in his wheelchair. You need to take a trip. A long one. If I know a guy, I'd ask Mr. Foster. Tell him yeah. I sent you. Here, go drink some more. And don't come back this way. You are a beautiful man. Everybody in this house is a beautiful man. Have a good time. You all understand? Sure. You guys know him? Anybody know him? Why'd they have the trial on the 48th floor? You're employed as a guard by the express company, are you not? Guilty! Not yet. Oh, sorry. On July 10th, while riding a stagecoach into Jacksonville... You mean July? You reported seeing a masked man on the road through a pair of field glasses. Is that right? That's right. I saw him through field glasses. I was Is cowboy watching. <laughs> stand up. Put your hat on. Now go stand 250 yards away. <laughs> get sequestered later. Oh, wait a minute. That ain't got anything to do with the case. So I object. I'm only trying to establish the character of the defendant, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Answer the question. Is that the man? Mm, ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> He's having his colors done. Oh. Yes. Would you say the man you saw is a winter? Please hold your applause until all the testimony has been given. Shame. By the first day he hit this part of the country, he shot one of the double C men. Seaman. Seaman. <laughs> Seaman. Thank you. Thank you. It was me. I did it. Thank you. Keep the faith, honey. He's dead. Duke Barnum has been a troublemaker ever since he arrived. Your bottom has been a troublemaker? He's repeatedly attacked my men without any provocation. Do chilies for lunch when you say that this hell of a red bull. Order. Order. Did the defendant, Duke Barnum, ever threaten your father in your presence? Take the curtain. The curtain. Hey, witness. Hey, she's a perjurer. Hey, witness. Yeah, no. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Oh. Now he'll like me. Maybe I am guilty. We will now sing, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. What is the jury's verdict? Uh, we weren't listening, Your Honor. Guilty, Your Honor. Wait, they didn't say I specifically was guilty. I'm Deputy Dog. Hey, Deputy Dog. Hey. You've been a lousy client. 
Here's that gun you want. Oh, Okay, there will be a 10-minute break, and the next sensational trial will begin. Well, pansy men. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's a warehouse in Newark. Hold it, hold it. I've always wanted to do this. Ow! Ooh, that saved all of two seconds. Can I get a ride with you, Ted? Ooh. Oh, life is so hard when you're stupid. <laughs> Remedy, you're a national friggin' treasure. That's Hitchcock. Tell the boys I want him brought in. At first they were mad, but then they had to admit it was pretty funny. We should just close this town and start over. Dr. Quinn, frontier proctologist. Hey, isn't anybody following me? I thought it was a big important criminal. I don't know, it just feels like I forgot something. Sir, why don't you put the gun away before someone gets hurt? Which way is the territory, I wonder? Well, heck, I'll just keep going the way I was going. <laughs> I could have called Joel Hyatt, but no, I go with Remedy. <laughs> Procrastinating beaver. You see? Come on, Duke. Have you done your business? Remedy, get back here. Duke! It's all right, it's Remedy. But kill him anyway. Search in every ranch in the valley. They're headed this way now. Hmm? They've got to be moving on, Duke. Where to? Wait a minute. There's an old cave up in the hills overlooking the path. I used to hide there when I was a little girl. I don't think anybody knows about it. Hmm? I'll take you there. No, no, you'd better not. If they should spot me, I'd rather you went around. How do I get there? Well, you cut across the south end of the Cooper Lane. Well, wait, I'm lost. Start again. You come to the Medford River. Nope. You follow that for about a mile, and then... It's... Bottom of a mile. And then you get shot by these guys. We got pushed out the front. <laughs> no, I got a slip disc. No, oh, oh, oh. Here goes the dumbest cowboy you'll ever meet. Where should I bill you? It's the Nine Nazgul. <laughs> like him. We're looking for Duke Barnum. Have you seen him? Why, he was around here. He is. Okay, alternate universe manual. I suppose we should read the introduction? Yeah. So you die, Captain, and we all move up in rank. <laughs> you do not. Get oh. out of here. Welcome to the world of alternate universes. Crow has orders to kill you, Captain. <laughs> and he will succeed, apparently. <laughs> Regrettable, but it will leave me in command. Then I will exploit the Dilithium crystal. Servo! I can't wait to get him back to his universe, a little annoying. You take a lot of chances. Don't! So consider me for your next corporate function. I'm available for all sorts of events. Look, enough with Joey the lemur. Die, 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 die. You know, this just might be an alternate universe. Well, duh! Maybe they got a computer down here. Yeah. Hey, um, computer. Working. What sounds like Torgo? Oh. Ooh. Hey, computer. Working. Say the master. The master. <laughs> That's great. It sounds exactly Tom! like. Tom. What? Oh right. Uh, computer, are we in an alternate universe? Yes. Well, how do we get out? Uh, uh, get Frank and Forster to send back the matter transference device. Say the master again. Delay that order. Oh. Computer, would you put Frank and Forster on the screen, please? Uh, oh, right. Remember, you're the evil gypsy. Oh, Lord, I don't know if I can. Lord, they're, they're still singing that Joey the Lemur song. Hey, you knuckleheads, send down that matter transference machine. Joey the Lemur. Oh, sure. Joey the Lemur, he really is great. Joey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, all right, all right, all right. Everybody here? Nobody evil, Gypsy? Not evil, 
I'm still not convinced it happened. Perhaps an underdone potato or a bit of undigested beef. Fine, Scrooge. <laughs> Let's check on the man. Okay. Oh, Nickers. Oh, 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 I feel so strange. It's, it's as if all my intestines cried out at once and were suddenly silenced. Oh, but Frank, look. Someone left us an agony booth. Me first! Race ya! Let me in there. Get... <laughs> Well, I, for one, am glad you're back. Honey. Me too. Where was it? happened? <laughs> Shouldn't have someone haul away Dad, I suppose. Hey, it's the guy who killed Dad. You, you. Oh, Mother Blood! Uh, you got some of my tapes, I think? I think you got Tusk and Lark's Tongues and Aspic. We got a domestic in progress over at the old pooper place. I love you! What is it about you? I don't need an answer right away. Her bullets say no, but her eyes say come hither. Strange courting practices of the old... Shut I know. Sir. So I can't use your bathroom? Oh. Stand where you are and drop your gun. But Jane, I... Oh, women. Uh, geez, I'm having a bad day. Well, that's dating in the 90s. The 1890s. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair she had a bigger gun. You know what? I'm really not that mad at him. <laughs> Never brides. Always bridesmaids. Now he's Log Ogilvy. <laughs> Log, Log Ogilvy. Everything's up to date in Kansas City. <laughs> Remedy, Duke's not at the cave. He didn't look like he'd been there either. Probably couldn't find it in the dark. I think I'll get him down and see what I can find out. You sure this will make good toilet paper? If you'll wait till my cake raises, I'll go too. La Caja Fall, Western style. Sid! El oh, Sid! Sid! Start with the tempting. Go away, nobody likes me. <laughs> Emerald City is closed. It's hiding in an abandoned Stuckies. <laughs> Shots just screaming out for a huge grasshopper to appear. Everybody is so stupid. He could just go into town with a fake mustache <laughs> and no one would notice. Oh, that's not my horse. I'm not here. Go away. Lucky, this uh, hideout sometimes is real crowded. This place is such a mess. He should clean up his hideout. Have you heard that? Oh, it's not too bad. It's just a flesh wound. Touch it. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Then I'll go get Remedy. As soon as it gets dark, we'll get you upstairs. I've been thinking about that. Oh, lower. I'm going to stay here. This is the last place in the world they'd think of looking for. Doodly, doodly, doodly. He's in here. <laughs> Yuck. This makes me sneeze. Hay fever, I guess. Remedy must have a remedy for that. <laughs> we'll bring some back with us. Uh, great scene, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this movie has more scenes of people picking at themselves. <laughs> Uh, just do a little morning bowl, then get to work. Uh, no, you can't have any. This is $80 an ounce. You just put a towel under the door. So you want to walk across the street to Fenway and catch a game? Rocky tells me that my men are no longer deputies. Park in! That's right, Riley. The way things are quieted down, the double C don't need any Nice tobacco aroma. Is that field and stream? Lumbo. What about you, Barnum? Oh, we can handle him when we catch him. Yeah. I figured my boys could help you out there. Would you stop touching yourself there? Riley. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Duke Barnum was convicted legally. And he's going to hang legally, too. Yeah. But I am to see that he's brought in alive. 
pothead. Go listen to some big bamboo, huh? Ah, well, rotator cuff feels good. Think I'll be ready for my start on Thursday. Who are you yesterday? I brought you some swaddling clothes. <laughs> my purse, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Vanity. You want to play some marbles? I'm up here all by myself. It's beginning to get on my nerves again. Oh, another day or two and you'll be as good as new. <laughs> Ah, uh, green sleeves. <laughs> Better bring me a fresh supply of those, too. I'll pick them up in town tomorrow and I go for my mail. What's been going on? Well, this Cooper thing sort of put an end to all that fight. The coy remedy. Given up for dead. <laughs> Why'd you guy. fill the canteen with brown mustard? Funny thing happened the other morning. A priest and a rabbi walked... Oh. Roddy Morgan took over the Ferguson Ranch, the Andrews Ranch, and three other places. Well, you probably all ought to get going. Too. He picked up some notes at the bank. Notes. Notes. Dead men's notes. Yeah, I know what you mean. We ain't got no proof. Well. You ever done it in the hay? Back, mm -hmm. Hey, see what bills tomorrow night. My crotch is suddenly cold. Oh. Low cow. Low cow. How do you remedy? Mm -hmm. Howdy. This stuff sure accumulates. Especially when you don't deliver it. <laughs> oh, uh, going anywhere near the double C. Oh, what? Stop this letter off for Riley Morgan. Save me a trip. Sure. If you don't, I might become disgruntled. Bless this beautiful day. It's a letter. It doesn't rattle. Let's see here. Dear sir, your horse has a potentially serious design flaw that could result in explosion and fire. Uh, Betty, some morphine. Jack will have the bike killed. Casper Doodle. <laughs> the U.S. Post Office. There's still no cheaper way to deliver a black mail truck. Highest general delivery, one of the great generals of the Civil War. Uh, he's covering the stamp so you can't see that it has Roosevelt on it. So I get three free CDs now. Oh, geez, I should call this movie Butterfingers. What is it, boy? Ungodly coincidences of the old west. You dropped something. <laughs> See what it is. It's a plot device. It's very flimsy, so be careful. <laughs> just a couple of letters. Now let's read them with my feet. Hey, this one's for you. It's from Hank Davis. Uh, I don't know any Hank Davis. Let me see that. Guilty Valley. Guilty California. Probably gum in here. He always sends me some. Come on, I want that letter. We'll head him off at exit 31 C. <laughs> I don't want to see another horse chase. Stop it! I didn't read the letter. Go away. That's it. I'm going to vaudeville. Let's see, what's the stupidest thing I can do? Great tune. Oh, he's got one of them amphibious horses. Oh, this is no place for a gelding. Well, maybe they're like bees and they won't go in the water. Sure enough. Wait till he gets in the middle. It's good and deep there. Yeah. I'm on ghoul. <laughs> Watch this. Right in the butt. Ah, unfortunately, Remedy's taken a correspondence scoop, of course. And a little bit of Jacksonville died that day. The way he was anxious to get somewhere, I got a pretty good hunch what was in that letter. Hmm? But it's where no one will see it now. Except maybe fishing. I'm sick of your carping. I think you and I better ride over to Red Bluff next week and fix Hank so that he doesn't write any more letters. But I thought we were going to have our camping holiday. 
people just wander from scene to scene <laughs> in this movie. Sid! 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 Oh, solar panels. Let's make a statement with a roof in this design. <laughs> in Wisconsin, that barn would say diesel cheese gifts. <laughs> Early car hops. Mr. What bear, honey? I thought you were Dale. Hey, you shouldn't come here too so often. Somebody might see you. Well, I have to take care of remedy patients. And I need the child support payment. <laughs> you kids got to get out of here. If they find you, they'll kiss you. I can't keep hiding forever. Besides, if I leave, I'll never prove anything. Does he just sit in there and plan golf courses in his mind? <laughs> Boy, you just sit back and they roll right in. Ah, pretend she's not here. I'll have a horse saddled and waiting for you as soon as it gets dark. Would you like cornbread or coleslaw with that? You'd help me get away? Yes. Oh, I want to French your hat. <laughs> I'd never leave knowing you think I killed your father. Duke, you've got to. But I killed your father. Harry's right. They'll kill you. Somehow I feel you're innocent and I'll never forgive myself. The mummy! <laughs> Remedy! Worse. The bullhead's got me. Lamprey's <laughs> sucking at my skin. I... Is it wrong that I'm glad about this? You know, I think those women did the right thing by not wearing earrings with those outfits. They were accessorizing with me. Ew, he blew his nose on that thing. Give me a bit. Like the juice of two lemons? What is this? Take this the chair. You stay here with him. Oh, thank you. I'll babysit the wet, bloody, stinky remedy. If the horse drops below 50, it will explode. Speed, <laughs> Well, Sid's making good time. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, let me call Ripley's. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm not guilty, everyone. Get him! Kill him! Get him! The old town town looks the same. Ah, Jacksonville. Hey, he changed his shirt. Must be a disguise. Don't pick up that. Don't. Ching, 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 ching. Not even time for a quick scotch. I hope he kills the apple dumpling gang. <laughs> uh, what's that thing you say? Grab. No, push. Uh, we know who killed Charlie Cooper, Riley. Who's Charlie Cooper, Riley? <laughs> now you know what I meant. But I'm settling the personal matter first. Got a package to pick up over at the Sears. Get off me, you load. Hey, he never got his drink. Hey, wait, I wanted to tell you who killed that guy. This is the funny part. It was you. <laughs> hey, he's when a man's got to go. There's a Hooverville in this town. Hey! <laughs> it's the last straw. <laughs> oh, where do you want it? You're too late. I have an informal agreement with the owners. Uh, you're mad, aren't you? I can tell you're mad. Uh, just don't tickle me. I'm thin and it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> that door's the only way out of here. It's brave talk for a man with a gun. Hey, I'm just telling you where the door is. Just kind of FYI. No reason to get all mad at me. That's right, Riley. Yep. I'll give you a better break than you gave Cooper and Remedy. I'll give you the first seven punches. <laughs> Kicks, too. Uh, we already saw this, so can we be excused? Can I go now? Albert Glasser wanted to do his best work for this scene, and unfortunately, he did. It's a comfortable place for a fight, anyway. Uh, you'll do anything to get me into leather, won't you? So did they call them Western Saddles back then? <laughs> It's a poser. Oh, please. I've already got hay in my pants. <laughs> Away in a murder. No crib for a death. <laughs> the cattle are dying. Okay. Hey, Pancho. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Would you two keep the fight on the lower level? We're filming a rifleman up here. I still hope they kill the apple dumpling gang. <laughs> 
The air is thinner up here, so I think that means the skinny guy has an advantage. Come on, smell it. Smell my hand. He's Baron Von Raschke. Oh, oh found the needle. See? This proves you did it. This is about more than just murder and blackmail between these two. Isn't it? Now just think, right now the townspeople are getting uglier and stupider and they're dropping things. <laughs> you know, this scene disturbed me at the beginning of the movie, but now it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never should have butted into this in the first place, Bonham. Now I'm going to finish. Oh, he's got a cute little blood mustache. Usually when this guy kills people, he makes them go get the belt and humiliate him. They fell off the hash browns. Oh, I had a huge skeleton key in my front pocket. Owie. Oh, oh, no. Stay here. I'll make us breakfast. To a terrible partner. What's that? That's French partner. Oh, that didn't help. Now the bowling ball is going to roll down on his head. <laughs> I fought the loft and the loft won. Oh, oh man. Sorry. It's Colleen. Well, everything's better now. The doc said my spine just healed right up. It was amazing. Hi, Terry. You're dirt. Hi, James. <laughs> How's the patient? We've been swell up for today. Look at him now. Look, it's Magritte. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fancy-looking suit he's wearing. He won't tell me why, but he borrowed a special for today. Getting shot was the best thing that ever happened to him. Hello, Remedy. I'm Hello. not reading, Hustler. Another mail order course? Well, I had to do something while I was laying on my back for two months. Whoa. What kind of a course is it this oh. time, Remedy? You'll see. <laughs> Mailman get here yet? I expect something awful important. Remedy is now completely psychotic. Oh, he is. I'll hold the Wells Fargo wagon is like coming down the street. I have to go to the Lompoc Bank. <laughs> We're spreading the word of no sex or alcohol. It's Stalin with Svetlana. At least Curly won't have to wear a dress anymore. This came for you today, Remedy. Oh, no. Who? This? <laughs> this is really creepy. I've been taking a meal with a course in art. Can't let him call Sir Model. Oh, they sent me one. Oh, God, please protect me. Remedy, there are laws. <laughs> Low, Curly. Hmm? I wonder how... Oh, ram it, clown. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, let's close with another random assortment of notes courtesy of... Albert Bless. Mike, would you mind telling me what happened? Yeah. Well, sure. You see, the Mads mm -hmm. sent up the matter transference device mm -hmm. during an ion storm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dumb, Dumb thing to do, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it sent Tom Servo and our own lovable gypsy mm -hmm. into an alternate universe, huh. whilst your evil doppelgangers were sent into ours. Oh, is that all it was? You know, gang, I think about one trip a year to an alternate universe is enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that funny, was no, it? No, no, sorry. no, not at all. Uh, that's all right. Let's uh, read this letter, though. That might brighten things up. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Say, Frank and I figured out a way that we can communicate from our satellite of love to your satellite oh, of love. So we yeah. thought we'd stop by and say hi. As a matter of fact, we've prepared a little song for you. Oh. We hope you like it. It goes a little something like this. Joey the Lever! Joey the Lever! Hate, to stop, hate to stop you. Hate like the world to do it. We have to read a letter. Or, uh, yeah, a letter. Or we get punished or some such thing. Yeah, we get punished. Uh, so, anyway, here it is. Uh, it's from Joseph A. Holtzman. We'll put it on the still store there, Kamba. Joseph's from uh, Kailua, Hawaii. Ah, yeah. yes. In our world, we also have a Hawaii and many similar places. Your 
Massachusetts, your oh, Illinois, your Zilak la Yeah, that's great. Uh, the letter begins, uh, Dear Mike at the Bots, uh, we really enjoy your show on Oceanic Cable Channel 30. Ah, yes. What? In our world, we too have cable television, oh. where we enjoy many similar programs oh. to yours. Miller. Your I Love Lucy, oh. your Home Improvement, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. My Mother, the Kalasta Kalusta Kalasta Kalinki Kalasta. Yeah, the letter yeah, yeah. concludes yeah. by saying, yeah. um, anyway, keep up the riffs. Ah, I yes, have... in our world, oh. we too have riffs. Yeah. Uh, we listen to many forms I... of popular music, such yeah. as your Louis Armstrong, yeah. your yeah. The Beatles, uh -huh. your Zylock Blues Band from yeah. Omicron yeah. City 3. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're sorry you have to go. Yeah. I know you got to yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. Wow, in a way, really, it's kind of comforting to know that uh, no matter what universe you're from, you can still be really annoying. Amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh